Hi there, welcome back to Desolation Town. This is our new sim that we are playing today. So this is Miley Ackerman. And uh, yeah, so, and she is living in this house. So, let's see. Um, looking a little bit rough. The yard isn't too bad, but we've got a lot of construction on this side of the house. Uh, it looks like somebody had to put up scaffolding and yeah, so we're we've got part of the house that we actually need to rebuild and Yeah, so this is her place and let's have a look inside Okay, so we've got a fair bit of trash cupboards are everywhere uh, doesn't have a working stove or fridge um, does it doesn't have a basement, but it has a second story and There is a bed here and a lot of garbage So we want to try and clear a path to I don't know. Can she go to the bed? clear a path to most of the things that need to be accessible uh, There is a bathroom here. We do have a toilet and a sink. So we'll want to clear out a path to the bathroom and to the kitchen even though we don't really have a lot um, to work with as far as making food and stuff like that so um, all right let's see if she can walk up to the bedroom uh, it looks like she's having to go to the back of the house to get in there is quite a bit of um, debris in the back. Okay, so we definitely need to clear her entrance. And yeah, so we'll get into... Can she go here? I don't know what these... No, she can't. So we're going to have to clean up all of these things here. And uh, try and make a path to the bathroom. I mean, kitchen isn't really usable right now, but uh, bathroom and bedroom for sure. Alright, so I'm going to jump into build mode and remove some stuff, and we'll be right back. Okay, so hopefully we moved enough stuff that she can get to various things. So let's just test this out. Get her to go into the bathroom. And then we'll find out a little bit more about her. She obviously does not like the mess in her yard. Um, can she actually get into the house? Okay, she's just gonna walk through there. Okay, the front door is over here, I guess. Alright, so she can get to the ba bathroom and probably get to the kitchen. And then let's have her go up to the bedroom. So I just straightened out a little bit of furniture. I straightened out all the cupboards. And uh, moved her bed so that she could access it from both sides. Alright, so she can use, she should be able to use the functional things now. Okay, so let's find out about her. Okay, her aspiration is to be a master actress. And uh, yeah, so she's got a few things there, but she does not have a job in the acting career, so. I don't know what's going to happen with that because um, I guess we can work on this aspiration. I don't know if we actually have to go to the job for that. It would be kind of cool if she did have a job in the acting career. That would be pretty cool. But I think one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off um, the leave job option maybe because our sims seem to go through jobs very quickly and even though they've got like a stable job sometimes they just quit for no reason and I'd kind of like to keep them having jobs and income if they do decide to get a job so um, let me know in the comments what you think about that and maybe we'll implement it the next episode all right so you don't have a job to go to and I don't think we have a mirror do we no so I guess we're going to go to the junkyard and see if we can't get her a fridge and stove. 
She only has $96 from the things that she sold out of her house. She does have a TV, though. Okay, let's see if we can't get you... This is your initiation. Let's see if we can't get you a fridge and a stove. Um, but it's nice that it's not winter anymore, but it is raining. So this area probably has a really rainy spring. Um, what are her character traits? Okay, so she's ambitious, she's loyal, she's creative, and she's a muser. And I did see a an easel in her house, so maybe to get her making some money, we'll do the painting. But uh, yeah, we've got already Jen is an artist, and I think, does Dylan have that too? I thought somebody else had that artistic trait as well. Oh, look, look. Glad and Jen are together at the junkyard. <laughs> we should meet some people too. And this guy's just showering in the rain. And this, this guy is just standing there watching him. Oh, she found fridge. Well, that's pretty fortunate. Well, that's pretty cool. You usually don't find a fridge right away. Uh, she finds a stove. Then she's a pretty, pretty uh, lucky sim. I guess we need a shower too, so we might as well look for a shower. Okay, we got some decor. Let's just keep going here. Lots of deals to be had. Okay, let's continue. Let's not take a shower till we're done. Oh, you have to use the bathroom too. Um, let's just empty this one. And here are the waltz. They always come together. Looking suspicious. <laughs> so I'm thinking once uh, everybody's houses are fixed up and stuff like that, I'm going to make this into a retail property and we're going to have a sim that can um, use the, or we'll have a sim that will, will run this as a used furniture appliance store and that's, they're going to be able to like dumpster dive and make this into a whole store for people. Although I don't know if anybody really will need anything by that point, but that is kind of my plans for this space once everybody has their um, houses all fixed up. Oh, she found another fridge, so she gets a choice. What else did she find? Just some parts, some artwork. More parts. Oh, she's got a chair. Be nice if that was a a stool that she could sit by the counter. Can she get into this one? Okay, so we got a little bit more money. I don't know if I've ever gotten a blue fridge. That's kind of cool. More parts and materials, and I think we'll recycle everything that she doesn't use. Or anything that's burnt, just so it's not in her inventory. Inventory. Oh, okay, she got another toilet, so that's good. Shower would be awesome. Okay, she really has to go to the bathroom, so... We'll, we'll get her to go use this and then take a shower. I mean, there's really nothing that she can do at home at the moment besides painting and I feel like you guys just watched Jen paint all day so I'm not gonna not gonna make her paint yet too so we'll just we'll just find things at the dump probably this episode and see what we can all come up with did she get anything in there no okay so once she's done she'll feel a little bit better after this after taking a shower, oh, somebody else is taking a shower outside. <laughs> oh, I can still dive for some deals here. Okay. Oh, that's a cute outfit. It's just going to get dirty. <laughs> but, but yeah, stove in a shower. And then we have our needs kind of met, so... Okay, so, so she's got 105, so she'll be able to make some food at least. Poster, she should donate that to the, the vet. So far my sims aren't getting jobs that easy. Like they, they're not 
going out and getting jobs, which is a little bit disappointing because I would really like The Sims to get jobs on their own. Now we could, we could also do kind of like a, um, kind of like a draw, draw a job out of a hat <laughs> kind of thing. Oh, well, why did you go in there? Okay, so looks like, looks like she's done here. So why don't we just head home and set up our fridge and, oh, we were going to recycle some things because she's got quite a few fridges. Uh, you are hungry, so why don't we set up our fridge? I guess we need a spot for that. Okay, so we put the the planter out here. It was gigantic. <laughs> Just add a little bit of um, beauty to the the junky yard, and then we also set up the fridge over here, which we need to repair. And I and I put this chair here. And upstairs I put this toilet here because we did need another toilet and that piece of artwork is up on this wall so just adding a little bit of niceness to this otherwise not so nice looking house. <laughs> I mean as far as garbage goes inside the house I don't think there is a whole lot but but yeah we'll keep on working to to fix it up. It's actually a really cute little house. So I'm thinking, I don't know, it doesn't really have a dining space so maybe once we've built on this room, this looks like it's, well it, is it a room? Yeah I think it is a room. So once we've built on this room maybe this will be a dining or the living space and then this will be the dining space. Um, yeah. Okay, so we haven't met anybody and I don't know, the welcome wagon doesn't seem to come on the first day. Well, I mean, we weren't at home either, so so um we haven't met anybody from the neighborhood. Yeah, all her needs are really really low, but she does have a sink so she can wash up in the sink. And uh yeah, once her fridge is fixed, then she can at least make herself salads and yogurt and things that don't need a stove. So I'm not sure how this house was actually laid out. Maybe it was maybe it was like a U shape this way. Uh, dislikes handiness? No, sorry, I deny that because you guys all need to fix stuff. Okay, so she is making herself some garden salad. Okay, so she's already work doing that on her own. So yeah, it would be nice if she would she would get the um, acting career because cause I'd really like to play that in this series too where they on the um, jobs that you go to and do different tasks. Alright, we've got the necessary earwax in there. And yeah, so it's it's not a bad place, really. I mean, the curtains are shab everything's kind of shabby, and there's like stains and stuff. But I mean, she's got fairly functional, a fairly functional house. So, all right. So she's gonna head to the living room to eat that. Does she need fun? Why don't you watch while you're eating? And then, at least your your fun will go up. Okay, so we need to make all the lights auto lights. So with her aspiration, she's going to need a mirror, I think. Practice acting, perform scenes, or read an acting skill book. I guess we could get a skill book. And practice act acting for two hours. So mirror or microphone. So we don't have either of those. We have $102, so that's not really... I don't know, how much is a microphone? Mirror is probably cheaper. Okay, so the cheapest microphone is 250 And, okay, we can definitely afford a mirror. So why don't we stick a mirror in here? Oh, uh, no, we don't want to spend a lot of money on a mirror. Can we just go with this one? Um, we got pink. 
so why don't we just do a white mirror there. Alright, so you're done eating, so why don't we work on the acting skill. I mean, it would make sense if the Sims would actually get a job in their field, in their aspiration field. That would be, that would be really, really nice if they would do that. Because, <laughs> yeah, we really have no, no place to actually use these skills. And I guess that's the downside of um, playing in rotation as well, is that she may have had the acting job when we first started, but but now she doesn't because she was left to her own and probably maybe quit. I didn't see it in the neighborhood stories, so. Okay, so she also needs conversations, so maybe we, sh we should head out to, I know it's pretty late. Oh yeah, she's pretty tired, so maybe we'll just have to forego that this time. I was thinking of heading out to one of the public lots like the library or the gym or the bar okay so have we reached level one yeah we've reached level one so that's we'll we'll just stop that for now and then does the sink not work okay um, let's clean ourselves up as much as we can in the sink and then we might as well head to bed so we have already achieved level one acting or level one acting skill and we've practiced acting for one hour so we're pretty good that way and she's sad <laughs> okay we're just gonna get you to call the sadness hotline that's that always helps oh she's not quite there yet so oh now she is okay let's let's try calling the sadness hotline that will that will help with that until we can meet some people. You don't have to go back downstairs. <laughs> Does she have any favorite colors or anything do we, that we know of so far? She dislikes nature enthusiasts. <laughs> okay. I haven't been able to get an acting job and I don't know what to do. I'm just so sad and nobody has come. The neighborhood doesn't welcome me. <laughs> All right, let's head head off to sleep. Yeah, so we do have uh, an easel there. So if she needs to make money desperately, then we can do that. Okay, so we're quickly going to go vote since the voting is open. Let's just stop sleeping. I know we're a little bit further into the day than I wanted to be, but... Okay, so we've got creative arts, self-sufficiency, and tech support. So let's, oh, she doesn't even have influence points, so, um, but we should probably find something that is not, not hard to achieve. <laughs> I mean, she would support the performing arts, so we'll go with that. I don't know if anybody will vote on that, but, um, I believe if there's nobody in the neighbor, new in the neighborhood, then we'll be heading to Glad's next, so that'll be tomorrow. We'll check the neighborhood in as soon as she's, as soon as she's voted, or voted, I don't know if she can vote, but she at least put the action there anyways. <laughs> My mailbox is backwards. Okay, so let's head into the world map. So yeah, so we don't have any more new sims, and we'll be heading over to Glad's next time, so... We'll probably continue his aspiration for a little bit more until he's completed it. Uh, kind of would like to actually do all of the Salvadoradian things. So, um, yeah, we'll do that. And I mean, I don't necessarily want him to stay in the lifeguard career because that's just like a part-time job and it's not really, yeah, it's just kind of a low-paying job. So anyways, I'm going to leave this episode here, and I hope you enjoyed meeting our new sim. If you liked this, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.